Percussion Axiom TV. I am your host, Tom Burrett, and this is episode number 94. We are back in part two of our series of experimenting with the programming process, and I thought I'd just start today's episode um, with a little excerpt from Chinari Ung's Cinnabar Heart. That's something that I'm adding to the early version of this set of pieces that I've been describing uh, on the last episode, and we'll be talking about in the next several. Um, so... Today's axiom really is setting the tone um, when we look at different programming practices, um, especially one that we're describing in these series of episodes. Uh, it's really all about a huge, long arc that lasts about 30 minutes. So after doing this at the Roundtop Percussion Festival, after running through the program there, I got some really interesting feedback. And after listening to um, the recording, I really felt like we needed something at the beginning that kind of set the tone, okay? A prelude, if you will. To, to what's about to come. And so that's why I've chosen this, um, this uh, Cinnabar Heart piece that came out of the Intermediate Masterwork series that Nancy Zelson put together, I think it was 2009. This piece really struck me back then, and I've performed it once before. And you know, one of the first pieces that came to mind when I was thinking about programming this sort of longer, continuous set of pieces uh, was this work. So Chinari Ung um, is a Cambodian or from, from Cambodia, he's an American composer now. He lives in San Diego and teaches at San Diego State. Um, a lot of his music though, I think you could hear it um, in the excerpt I just played for you, which was basically the first page or so of his piece. Um, really a Cambodian sort of tonality and slash Southeast Asia sort of tonality to it. Um, so to me, um, this series of pieces that I've programmed, I've talked a, bit, a little bit about it, but what we're going to do in the ensuing sort of episodes is talk about each section of it. And today we're just going to talk about the prelude, which is uh, Chinari Ung's piece, Cinnabar Heart. And, you know, when, when I look at the process of how to choose pieces for programming like this, really they're about mood um, and about background of the piece and how well that fits into the overall plan. So, for example, Cinnabar Heart. Um, Cinnabar is a red color. It's also a, not an element, but it's... Um, uh, it has element qualities. It's a substance. You see it in sort of mineral form. Um, cinnabar, at least in reference to this particular piece, is all about the color red, and that symbolizes in, in Asian culture um, a symbol of long life. Um, it also has a reference to compassion. So as we look at this long journey that you know, we described in the last episode, if you haven't checked out part one, go back one episode, 93, and, and watch it from the beginning. Um, it's really all about that process of sort of coming together with the human condition and dealing with that, starting from a really deep, dark place. Um, so what I like about this music is, um, and it says this in the, uh, in the, uh, the program notes for the piece, is that in, in that culture, in, in that Asian culture, oftentimes there isn't really a difference between a composer and a performer, meaning that this piece kind of sounds very... Um, improvisatory, like I'm just sort of making it up. And that's not the case. I'm actually not making it up, at least mostly. Um, but I really like that idea of just music kind of coming from here rather than just spitting notes off a page. So this really acts as a prelude and kind of sets the tone of hope and compassion and long life. Um, so an underlying theme to this concert too, these series of pieces, has to do with my dad who's been dealing with cancer for the past four or five years. Um, so it has a very personal connection from that perspective. So we're using this piece as primarily just a prelude to get the, the thing started. So I hope you enjoyed that excerpt. I uh, thought we'd just change it up a little bit here and start with the playing. Um, yeah, so that's the first part of this series of, of pieces that I'm going to play. We move from here, and this is what we'll talk about in the next following couple episodes. 
we move from here to finishing Cinnabar Heart to um, a, a movement from Jennifer Stazak's uh, uh, Six Elegies Dancing. And then we move into a Robert Aldridge piece called Sad Song, which kind of really deals with the sadness of um, the human condition and kind of the beginning part of, you know, once we get the stage set, we kind of deal with this sort of sad feeling. Then we move into Michael Burritt's uh, Fermo, which has kind of a, you know, we start moving forward from that sort of dark place. Then we get into um, another Aldridge piece, the Dance of Passion, or the Passion Dance. And that's getting to our peak, and then we go into the stout finale from Four Dances, which sort of is, a, is a sort of praiseworthy, sort of joyous expression. Then we get into Jonathan Combs, a new piece, Haven, which sort of takes us and sets us off to the sunset, if you will, in hopefully a good and, and easy place. So that's kind of where we're going for the next um, uh, few episodes. So I just wanted to, to set things up today. There'll be a significant little pause probably after I play this piece before we move on with the program. Um, one other interesting note about this piece is it requires vocalization, um, which is a little weird. And along with the insecurity of, sort of programming differently for a concert, I've got to come to grips with actually vocalizing. Uh, really, it's not really a language. It's something that Oom chose uh, for the consonants. And I didn't do that part for you today because I'd love for you to come see me do it live because I think it fits more into that sort of whole homogenous whole of something that's got a longer arc to it. So that's just one very interesting thing about this piece. He requires, at least at the time that Nancy approached him to write the piece, he requires that in all of his pieces, evidently. So that was a non-negotiable on his part. Or at least he said he would do it, but only if. So that's today's episode. Thank you guys for checking this out. You can see we're back in the home studio here. Um, so the question of the episode... We always end with that is, you know, I want, to, I want you guys to share a, um, a meaningful concert experience that, you know, even if it was a more traditional mode of programming, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Like, what, what, I'll leave mine as well, but what were the, the concerts that you remember or will never forget? I would love to hear your thoughts about that. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.